Sometimes I wish I was sick or injured enough to go to the hospital, just so I could get some rest. Sometimes I want to, just to feel cared for, tended to. To someone ask me are you feeling any better? Then I remember oh, I just want someone who cares about my existence. Feel free to tell me if I'm just a spoiled brat that's being dramatic. But if anyone related, please tell me, I'm alone. I don't want to feel alone in being alone too. Have you ever tried to sleep at a hospital? I've wished I could just run away from responsibility and go to a quiet hotel with room service for a few days. I can promise you that you won't get much rest there. I just got out in February and had a four day stay. They were in my room at minimum every four hours. When I got home, I slept for two days. I needed it badly. Burnout comes in different forms, and you're possibly having one. Me too. Hospitals are noisy. Machines. People. Roommates. Then, nurses usually come and check on you every four hours. Give you meds and do tests. Rest is the last thing you get unless sedated. I'm in healthcare peripherally and this is a surprisingly or not surprisingly common feeling. People feel like there's no other justifiable way to just be able to relax and focus on their own well-being. And the hospital is a reason that most people won't argue with if they don't have all the info. It sucks that this is what it takes for people to feel cared for. Get a break from stressful responsibilities. And just rest their bones. Go rent a hotel room sleep. Be careful what you wish for. Hospitals are not always as restful as one might think. It can be cold, and being hooked up to loud machines make it hard to sleep. And doctors and nurses coming in and out at all hours make it even worse. Multiple tubes and shit inserted all over your body, etc. I once laid in the ICU wide awake for 14 hours staring at a clock, having dark thoughts, wondering how many people died in that same bed. Staring at that same clock, I asked for something to put me to sleep but nothing worked. I wanted to die right there. OMG I work at a hospital and I still feel this way. But then I think about how I will use all my sick leave in vain. And how the medical condition would be so much worse. Gosh maybe we both need a really relaxing holiday. Every parent in the universe has had this thought red heart. Be like that tbh. I'm ADHD and my brain never stops. I really wish I could be in a coma for a while. Just to get a vacation from myself. But I'm afraid to overthink and overdream while laying there too. It's hell in here. Come on just take the time off and drive someplace remote. AWH I'm sorry man. I feel this confession to core and now I am sad for both of us. Good luck op, red heart. Yeah, a lot of people actually do this. Another reason the NHS is on its knees. Trust me rest is the last thing you get in hospital. I got cancer in college, and honestly, I was like, thank god, some rest. Don't come to the hospital for no reason. We don't have room for you. Gah I feel this in my soul. I'm everyone's damn caretaker and sometimes I just so dearly want someone to take care of me for a change. I hate that you feel that way. Could you maybe take a half day to yourself this week? If you have a lot fitness around you, get a free day pass. Hit the sauna, hot tub and pool. Side note, they also have childcare. Op please take care of yourself. You're not very effective for anyone else if you aren't in a good place yourself. Much love. This deserves to go in anti-work I feel this. A nice pish stay would be nice. Some calming drugs, painting, outdoor time. As someone who was on hospital bed rest for two weeks. You aren't actually going to get that much rest the beds are uncomfortable and people are in and 
out of your room all day and night taking blood, vitals, etc. You get bored really fast as well. O10 do not recommend. Have you ever stayed in a hospital? That is not a time of rest at all. It is nice actually. I've had several yes knee replacements and I'm old the best was when I had a catheter in and didn't have to get up to pee all night. Not saying this is you and I sympathize but it's astounding how many Americans feel this way yet. Habitually refuse to stand up with their co-workers to do something about it unionize. Deaf feeling this. I wish I was sick or injured so someone would care about me. I take it from somebody who's been in the hospital 15 times in the last 20 years you don't get a lot of rest in the hospital. You think you get rest in the hospital but you don't. But you have three meals a day that's cooked for you you have a TV you can lay there and watch but there's not a lot of rest. I just went through this. I was literally discharged last night after emergency gallbladder removal. This is after three weeks of hell and four or visits. I told them each time that this is the closest to a spa day that I get. Sad truth. Same here, just to stop people relying on me and see how they would manage without me. Sometimes when I'm exhausted and my kids are continually bickering and there's so much to do and I'm broke and bills bills bills. I miss being in maximum security prison. It was five years ago and for seven months and only break I've had in 14 years. No you don't sincerely, someone who's been in the hospital more than you. Same. 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 Become a mailman. 1. 9 a.m. breakfast 2. 10.15 a.m. coffee break. 3. 11 a.m. get ready for lunch. 4. Lunch. Snacks. 4 p.m. nap. 4.30 p.m. bathroom. 4.59 workday over. Jump from first floor. The last place to get some rest is a fucking hospital. Wow I never thought I'd find someone with the exact same thought. I used to harm myself and I would voluntarily expose my wounds to my parents so they care for me. I never knew who to tell. I've always loved being in hospitals because I find it comfy and safe. I know I'll get cured if I get sick when I'm there. That's so selfish of me. I think this bad idealization comes from my mom. She always over cared for me because of my autism. I was in hospital for a couple of days three weeks ago rhabdomyolysis from overdoing it in the gym. I slept maybe six hours total in two days. I couldn't help but overhear doctors discussing intimate health issues with patients. Such as alcoholism. End of life cancer care. Blood transfusions for a kidney patient. A woman with horrific sounding post-operative issues with her womb. All sorts. Made me realize that I'm pretty bloody lucky. All things considered. Slept like a log for two days when they packed me off home. Be careful what you wish for. My wife had her gallbladder out a few weeks ago. They ended up keeping her in the hospital overnight because she wasn't doing as well as they'd like. I actually slept very well there. They had a chair which turned into a recliner. For people staying with the patient. I got woken up about every two hours or so. But between that, I slept like the dead. I once mentioned this to a psychologist. When I was having these thoughts. He told me that these are concealed suicide thoughts. And that you should take them seriously. It is your brain crying for help. Moreover, you would not get in hospital what you are looking for. There is no such thing as resting in a hospital. It is a busy place where you typically don't get much sleep. And are virtually never left alone. So, stop. Think and decide to take a real break in a way that you know works for you. And address the underlying issues with a friend. Coach or sigh.